Grade 5 Math, number 9.5, Numerical Patterns. We can identify a relationship between two numerical patterns. A numerical pattern is an ordered set of numbers, and their order helps us predict the next number. Each numerical pattern has its own rule. This one is plus 2, the rule for this sequence right here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. It goes up by 2. This one is plus 3, then minus 1. 3, and then take away 1 is 2, plus 3 is 5, take away 1 is 4, plus 3 is 7, take away 1 is 6, plus 3 is 9, take away 1 is 8, plus 3 would be 11. We look at the sequence of numbers, and we can figure out the rule. Then we can find the missing number according to that rule. The missing number here would have been 16, because it's going up by 4s. We can find the rule and apply it even to the middle of a sequence. In this chart, here's the first sequence, it's nickels. The second sequence is quarters. This is the number of coins. If there's one coin, a nickel is 5 cents and a quarter is 25 cents. See, this is how many cents they are. Two coins, a nickel is 10 cents, quarters are 50 cents. So do you see what's happening in this sequence? 5 to 25? They're multiplying by 5 to get the bottom amount for sequence 2. So all we'd have to do is multiply 25 by 5, and we'd get the missing number here, right? We could also go up by 25 here, because look, it keeps going up by 25. So if you say 125 should go here, you're right. See? We compared the relationship between the nickels and the quarters, and we saw what the sequences were doing in relationship to each other. Well, if we had numbers of containers, and in sequence 1 we had how many quarts were in the container, in sequence 2 were how many pints, 4 quarts would be 8 pints, 8 quarts would be 16 pints. Do you see the relationship of what's happening between quarts and pints? 8 divided by 2 is 4, 16 divided by 2 is 8, so that means 24 divided by 2 would be 12, and we'd be able to figure out what the missing number is. So we compare the relationship to find the rule. What's the rule between these two patterns, can you tell? 10 and 5, 20 and 10, 30 and 15, 40 and 20, 50 and 25. If you say the number 2 sequence is half of what the number 1 ones are, you're right. So do you know what would go there? If these are half, and these are going up by 10s, aren't they? So if you said 60, you're right. See? How about this one? What's the rule between the two patterns? 2 and 14, 4 and 28, 6 and 42, 8 and 56, 10 and 70. Can you see the relationship between the two of them? This one's a little harder. The 10 and 70 might help you. But if you know your times table, if you said they're, they're multiplied by 7, you're right. So if we multiply 12 times 7, we'll get 84 and we'll have the missing number. See? Sequence number 2 was 7 times more than the numbers that were in sequence number 1. See? So we can find the relationship between the two patterns and then we can fill in the empty space. We can find the rule for the sequence and we'll be able to fill in the empty space. See? So those are numerical patterns. I'll see you next video. Bye.